Hey guys, Press Pause here, and welcome back to another episode of Hearthstone. Today, I'm going to be showing you a druid deck that I made. A, literally a deck. It's um, pretty consistent on the mana curve. Uh, I'm using this deck as sort of... I'm trying to teach myself how to make more consistent decks, because uh, a, a problem that I've been having with a lot of the decks that I make is I prefer... I really like uh, being aggressive. It's really, really fun, and it's fast-paced, and you do a lot of damage, and it just feels good. So, I like aggressive decks because of that. But I'm trying to see if I can make more consistent decks, because a problem that I've been having with a lot of the aggressive decks that I've been running is that I run out of cards within, like, the first seven or eight turns. So, by turn ten, I'm top-decking, and it's really hard for me to win, even if he's at, like, four health. So, this is a solution to that. We've got one drops, Lepronome, guaranteed two damage, Amani Berserker, something that can eat a lot of spells because it's pretty dangerous and rage plus three attack with three health. It's pretty good. Fairy Dragon, people trade a lot for that. It can also eat spells and it's very hard to target, so if you can keep it alive, it will stick with you for a good portion of the game and do a lot of damage. Two healing touches because I am a noob and I need health. Uh, Harvest Golem sticks around, Scarlet Crusader sticks around, Swipe, obviously just very good. Uh, Keeper of the Grove, again, very good. Good as Silence, good as two damage, dealing with Fairy Dragons. Um, Leroy, good finisher. Starfall, board clear. Azure Drake, good 4-4 body. Has, it's also card draw and spell damage. Taunter, Charger, whatever, you know. And just big card draw and also health. So, it's a pretty straightforward, consistent deck. So we are going to hop into a couple of games. I've been ranking up very, very slowly. And I can tell that all the people who were at Legend are not yet at Legend, and a lot of the higher ranked players are the ones that I'm getting put up against. Because before, when I was at rank 15 to about 11 where I was, Never saw Nat Pagel, like, rarely. Now I'm seeing Nat Pagel in every game. Literally every game. We don't want these two things. Give me give me some lower drops. Two drop, three drop, or Lepronome. No? Okay. Okay. That's... Okay. Julius. Huh. I thought he got stabbed to death like a... Uh, I don't know when that happened. Probably about more than... I think it was 2050 years ago? Something like that? I don't know. Even with four years of Latin under my belt, I'm a little rusty on my Roman history. Even if he's got nothing to play. Oh. That's just wonderful. That is absolutely, absolutely just wonderful. We're gonna be silencing that. We can't, we can't do it. Oh my god, this is gonna suck so hard. We got such a bad starting hand. Oh, and there's another one. Oh, what do I do with my life? Ah, stop. No, please. Or do I swipe? Do I... S I think I want to swipe and then starfall that the on turn 5. I actually think that's what I want to do. Or not starfall. Um... Keeper of the Grove. Yeah, yeah, that seems like a much better play. Probably gonna fireball me. Pay attention, class. Huh. Well, Keeper of the Grove and the next turn Starfall. I must safeguard the man. So we're gonna turn six Starfall this. Probably gonna like frostbolt it or something. 
Whoa, okay. Dude, it's a 2 4. There's no easy way to do this, so I'm just gonna end it. And then I guess we're just gonna throw down the Ancient of Lore. Yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna have to throw down the Ancient of Lore. We've got healing touch. I'm pretty okay well with done. where we're at in health. Now he's got this to deal with, so he either has to run his Drake into it or Frostbolt it, and then trade his 1-1. One, one. Which then I'm probably gonna throw down... Interesting. So he's likely to do nothing to it. He's going to throw it on my own Azure Drake and kill his. Eat that, dick. But don't don't actually eat a dick. Don't. That that would be very, very unhygienic. Oh, guess who's back? Lots of card draw in this deck. He feels that that's necessary, somehow. So I'm just gonna clear his board. And then throw on Harvest Golem and hit him, because we've got a lot of creatures. So he's already used a Kona Cold, he's used Frost Nova. Something tells me this is one of the Delay Mages. Um, probably gonna throw it on, like, yeah, okay. Definitely a Delay Mage. Definitely a Delay Mage. We want to kill him. We want to kill his face right now. Are you shitting me? We're, we're gonna kill this guy's face. For the Job done. Next turn, it's Starfire Leroy Jenkins. And that won't kill him, it'll put him one health. But we're gonna healing, we're gonna healing touch up, and then probably throw it on the Amarni Berserkers. Definitely a delay mage. What on earth? That's not going to stop me. Maybe a Vaporize. Starfall. I'm going to keep my things alive, thanks. Let's see what it is. Not an Ice Barrier. Not a Vaporize. Not a Counter Spell. Not a spellbender. It's an ice block. So he's got an ice block up. This makes our life more difficult. Let the pain speak to me. I don't know what his end game is, but I don't. I'm not excited for it. Gnome, Starfire. I mean, I have too much health for him to do anything to me. He's probably planning on, like, spell power, spell power, like, getting up a bunch of spell power, and then, like, uh... 
Yeah, he is trying real hard. But we've got another healing touch. It's one of those mages. Healing touch. Claw. Hero power. We're gonna kill... Um, we're gonna kill his spell power. And we're gonna throw down the Imani Berserker. <laughs> it's time for it. And the Imani Berserker. <laughs> and we're gonna actually it. activate his ice block. Job done. We're at 17 health. Uh, f he already used a fireball. I don't think he can kill us. Give him the GG, cause fuck this mage. Okay. And there you go. Game one. In the bag. And that's why we need two healing touches. So yeah, a lot of people say that healing is bad, but... Hey, look, it just helped me win that game. It's... When you're up against a delay mage whose idea is to keep you from doing damage to them and then just burn you out at the last turn, you need the health. So it's a good counter to certain strategies. I don't agree with the idea that healing is bad because it doesn't change anything. It definitely does change things. It alters the dynamic of the game. Wonderful. That... <clears throat> Jesse Pinkman. Wonder if this guy watches Brink bleh, 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 Breaking Bad. Bleh. Can't do anything. Why would you... Like, that's being... That's a dedicated fan of a show right there. Making your battle tag the name of a character. I can wait. More Nat Pagel, I am so done with this card. Like, do... Uh, hmm. How long are the Hearthstone seasons, I wonder? Because how, how much longer do I have to wait before all the Legend people are back at Legend so I can not deal with Nat Pagel anymore? He's actually rock biter weaponing his Nat Pagel to kill. Okay. Cool. That's good for me. Thank you. I like how Nat Pagel didn't even draw him a card. And then I used my Nat uh, I used his Nat Pagel to draw me a card. Can I get anything that I can play, please? Well, he already used a rock biter weapon, so we don't really have to worry as much about rock biter weapon wind fury, but Earth Elemental Wind Fury is still big threat. Oh f ah, stop doing this to me. actually going to do that. I don't want him having spell power. Earth shock? Jeez, this guy's coming right out, okay. We've got we've got plenty of health though with both healing touches in our hand. We're just gonna kill this. Who 
Oh boy, okay. Uh, I don't have the cards I need. Where shall I strike? He can he can easily just bloodlust and do something crazy. Not five damage to the counter. Yes. I don't see this game going very well for us. Um, he's just gotten out too many things. Uh, I don't know if I can stop it. For the crusade! For the Job done. I need swipe, I need starfall, I need something. the most aggressive shaman I've ever played against. Yeah. Well. He didn't even GG. What a jerk. So yeah, I'm not saying that the deck that I'm running is perfect. It definitely has a lot of problems if you don't get the right cards, as you saw in that game. We didn't get our early game, we were... He had a lot of really aggressive cards, we didn't have an answer for it. Sorry about that. I forgot to go offline. Tigers fan 420. The names today, I can't even... We don't need two three drops in our hand. There we go, perfect. Perfect, beautiful, look at that curve. It's linear. It's not a curve at all. Come on. Yeah, just pass your turn. Let me make the first move. Waste your shadow word pain on it. I dare you. I dare you to waste a shadow word pain on that. Um, I am actually going to trade here and then throw it on my own Gary Dragon. For the crusade! Huh. This is a bit awkward. Gonna trade for our, he's gonna trade the divine shield for our fairy dragon, and then next turn we can keep Rope Grove that. So he might shadow word pain our Scarlet Crusader. Or we could play a Blood Knight, and that would be really suck. Actually, no, we could just silence it. He's gonna. What? What? Interesting. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to Keeper of the Grove, kill his 3-2, trade my 3-1, and then hit him with the Fairy Dragon. I like that play. That makes me feel good. He's going to Shadow Word Pain it. We don't want to throw down both Fairy Dragons because it's turn 5 and he can easily Holy Nova. Oh! Well then... He could still Holy Nova. I'm really scared about the Holy Nova. 
So I'm gonna play something that can live even if he does. He might holy holy nova is definitely a thing that can happen. He might do it just to get rid of the shield. Shadowward pain, boom, got him. He's healing and he's not gonna do anything else. Okay, cool. We're just gonna starfire him. Heal nature's wrath. Um, is someone injured? Oathshire cleric, injured blade master. Ah. Well, we're gonna swipe that. We're gonna swipe this. Oh. And then hit here and keep our dude alive. I'm gonna start on left now. It's always good to keep your creatures on the board if you can, uh, even if it means taking a little bit of health damage. Not too much, but, you know, a little bit. Like, taking, I, I took one damage there, you know, that's perfectly fine. Especially since I've got two healing touches. The two healing touches is honestly probably overkill, mm. but it gives me a little more insurance and helps me feel more safe as I'm playing. See, there's the Holy Nova. Told you it was coming. So he's at 15 now. That's not a problem. Where shall I strike? For the wild. Now he's at 10. But we need to get some card draw in this real fast because Ragnaros. Wonderful. Can I kill him next turn? If Rag hits me? If I get Leroy, I think I can. No. Wait, if I get Leroy, I can. Oh, but. Okay, well, we're gonna have to actually do this. Oh, wait, no, we can't even do that because he gave it extra health. For the wild. We're just going to have to rush him down. He doesn't have much health left. He could Holy Nova again and heal up, and that would really, really stink. If we silence Rag, it gives him an 8-8. Because eight, eight. Uh, Rag can then attack. Let me change your mind. Not the Fairy Dragon. Yes! We got him! I must safeguard the man. Screw your Ragnaros. Okay. Don't you love the RNG? Alright, well, this has been very fun uh, for me. I hope you guys also enjoyed. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another episode where I'm probably going to show off one of the hunters that I've made. So yeah, see you guys next time.